What's going on? Another seltzer review. Joined once again by my beautiful fiance, Heather. Glad to be back. Today, trying Trader Joe's hard seltzer. I think it's called The Shell House. So, quick thing. Um, we had not gone to Trader Joe's before, for whatever reason. I've been there like know. once or twice just for some random stuff. We were up north. Uh, Erin, who were, she was in the Labette Blue Seltzer and then the Mamita Seltzer Reviews. She's like, oh, you got to go to TJ's. You got to try it out. They got so much stuff. Went in there once we got back. Obsessed with it now. They got so much stuff, so cheap. It's great. They pretty much know us now. Yeah, so we're, we're regulars. going there all the time, so <laughs> check out TJ's. Uh, but then we saw that they had their own seltzers, and we're like, well, we got to try those, obviously. Actually, um, what happened is that Abby, shout out Abby, reached out and said, you got to try the TJ's seltzer. Yep. And then we also saw them. Like, Abby, right? who's not been on a seltzer review yet, we'll have to get her on one. Uh, yeah, so we are. So we got, it's the Shell House seltzers. We got mango, watermelon, Meyer lemon, and pomegranate. Yep. Also, shout out to my brother, Steven. Shout out, Steven. He made this, not the glasses, but the flight holder itself for Christmas for me. I haven't really had a chance to use them yet. It's made out of a goalie uh, hockey stick. Haven't had a chance to use it yet, so thought this would also be a good opportunity to do that. Opening these ones and pouring them in? Sure. All right, so tap, sip, tap. sip. No, it's sip, 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 sip. See, <laughs> Jamie got into my head on the Mamita's one. I thought one. it was Aaron. Maybe it was Aaron. One of them got into my head on the Mamita's one and said sip, sip, or said tap, tap. But your website is tap and sip, so it should be tap, tap, sip, sip. That's because the uh, URL for sip, sip was taken. Either way. You do tap tap whether you say it or not. It's true. All right, so we got the mango there. Got the watermelon. Not to be confused with the Meyer lemon. What is a Meyer? Is that a type of lemon? I think so. I think it's sweeter, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay. All right, so do you want to start on your side? I'll start on my side. Sure. <clears throat> All right. So you're starting with the pomegranate. Yep. I got the mango going here. Hmm. So let me quickly just show show it to the uh, camera <laughs> there. That's what they look like. All right, what are your thoughts on the pomegranate one? So wait, I'm, am I just rating all of them? Don't rate all of them. You rate them at, you just rated a full a full rating at the end, but you give okay. some feedback on the flavors. Pomegranate one's pretty good. Um, tastes very strong like pomegranate. Um, it doesn't have like, you know, that weird like craft seltzer taste. It's not like one of the craft beers or anything. I think it honestly just just tastes like seltzer water with a shot of pomegranate. Like it doesn't, I don't, I don't feel like it's too um, sugary or anything. Yeah. Now that I'm thinking about this, I feel like we should do the same flavors at the same time that way it's not hopping back and forth. So I'll do, yeah. all right. We didn't plan this. No, it's the first try. <laughs> Um, no, I agree. That's a really good flavor. Really good flavor. Um, not too sweet, like you said. Mm -hmm. Again, so my main focus here is drinkability, flavor, and creativity. Drinkability, very high in this one. Flavor, mm -hmm. very high in this one. Creativity, it's pomegranate, nothing crazy there, but it's TJ's. I think it was fairly cheap, so there good. we go. So pomegranate, solid. Yep. Now Myers Lemon. I wonder mm. what the other kind of lemons are out there. Like everyone else who's labeled lemon, are they not Myers? Well, it's just Meyer, not Myers. Whatever. What is that like a Midwest? Yeah, thing? It's Midwest thing. <laughs> just add asses on there. The lemon one is good. I would say offhand, I think I like the pomegranate a little bit better. Um, again, it has a strong lemon flavor, but I guess I would have preferred for the lemon it being a little sweeter. To me, it's maybe a little too tart. I kind of like that. I think that's a better that's a better mm -hmm. lemon taste than some of the other ones. Like the uh, White Claw lemon that I don't think has technically been reviewed yet. I think it's too like sweet of a lemon. That's like a nice actual lemon. It, it, yeah. Not super sour, but yeah, it gives you more of the tartness. Okay. All right, watermelon. You didn't say it right. Watermelon. Thank you. There you go. That one's very good. Very good watermelon. Um... Kind of reminds me of like the White Claw watermelon, which I also really like. So again, not like too sweet, but yeah. pretty good. I, I, so it does taste like the, the White Claw one. I actually think it's a little bit better than the White Claw one. I think it's close to the High Noon one. High Noon one is maybe like a little bit sweeter than this. So this is maybe a little bit of a nicer mild to that, but it's very good. Also, I haven't said this yet, but these are not super carbonated. Like, I think to the yeah. drinkability factor, like, if you really want to chug these, you could. Because, yeah, they don't have, like, that really bubbliness that yeah. some other ones Agreed. do. Agreed. 
The only thing I don't like about them, though, is that they have different calorie rankings on all of them. So it's 100 calorie for the mango and the watermelon, and then it's 120 for the pomegranate and the lemon. A little confusing. Keep it consistent. Throws me off a little bit. <laughs> mango one, solid, honestly. I think similar to what I think about the watermelon. Tastes pretty good. Reminds me a little bit of the White Claw. Yeah, the mango is honestly just, mango's on like every seltzer has a mango. I know, mango's a little bit of a boring flavor now, yeah. but. It's one of the, uh, it's definitely like one of the better mango ones, but. Yeah, like if I had to rate them in order, I'd say watermelon, mango, pomegranate, then the lemon. Really, I'd say watermelon, pomegranate, lemon, mango. Okay. Either way, okay, so give the, give the score <laughs> overall. They're solid. Um, I'm going to give it an 8.3. 8.3? That's I like lower it. than I expected. But I, I think I just don't give like super high scores. Okay. I don't know. You're a tough judge. Yeah. <laughs> um, I really like them. Again, for drinkability, they're very drinkable. Good flavors. Um, I think price... the flavors could be a little more creative in my opinion. Yeah, but... but whatever. Very good price-wise. Um, I They're up there for me. I'm thinking these are getting a, it's tough because high noons are very good. Yeah. About, so I'm, I'm getting up there. High noons are very good, but for how much cheaper these are, nine, five, nine, five, nine, five. It's, That's really good. It's very good. I think it's the highest one. I think, I think high noons were nine, four. I think these are flavor wise, comparable to high noon, much cheaper. And I mean, to a sense, a little bit easier to drink. So easier to drink. Like I really think if you're if you're really trying to day drink, I would buy these. Oh, they almost sure. just taste like water with some like juice in it. Um, again, to me, I would like maybe a little bit more creative on like the flavor profile, but overall, very good. Yeah. So there you go. So it's this is the Shell House Seltzers uh, from Trader Joe's. Nine AKA TJ's. Yep. Nine five. The official score. That's the review, stay bubbly. Check out tapandsip.com as Heather mentioned for yep. all the previous <laughs> reviews. Thanks.